So I was asked about my base model welding skids and the price of the blueprints that I'm selling to the uh, base model. Well, pretty much what I'm doing is I'm selling you the prints um, to how to duplicate the base model, but also I'm giving you the rights to build um, another one on your own. So I don't know where you at, but I don't have no issue with you using the prints and making some to someone in your area and selling it to them. You know, it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not going to get upset. I'm not going to lose any sleep because I want you to win and prosper and be able to do good. So if you can buy my prints and you can sell a couple out of your shop, you know, do that. I have no issue. You know what I mean? Because the way I'm selling you the prints, I'm giving you the right to do that. That's why I'm charging $100 for the blueprints for the base model. So when you buy the blueprints, you can duplicate them. You can have and keep it for your own. You know, I don't really care what you do with it because you spent the money that was necessary uh, in order to make it happen. At first, I was going in between prices on doing it. But in order for me to make it benefit me and you and be able to allow you to duplicate them. Like, so say, you know, you might be in a small room place where two, three people might say, hey, man, I want one of them. You might say, hey, I can build you one. You already got the information. You already uh, a welder fabricator. You just got the prints and you built your own and you made some cash back. So now you spent $100 for my prints and you just made $1,500. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, I'm, I mean, that's cool with me because to me, you know, once a person buy your product, um, I think they can be able to do whatever they want to do with it. You know what I mean? So that's on them. As long as they're not infringing on your name. You know what I mean? Now, surely a person can go online and whatever and they can purchase and I don't have no problem with that. But I don't feel like you're taking money out my mouth by you networking your area. If I'm not around your area and you purchase the prints for me. So I don't have no problem with that. So just so just so you know, the prints are a hundred dollars and you do have the right to duplicate them and, you know, make you know, Make one and sell one yourself. I don't have no issue with that. But I feel like me doing it this way is not hurting me, but it's also helping the brand spread. And then it's helping feed you. So, I mean, the way I look at it, if you're willing to spend a little money with me, I'm willing to help you make money. You know what I mean? That's it's just the way it goes. It's a give and take. So I feel like we just got to break the cycle and the curses on networking because I have tried to network with people on, on uh, consignment deals, and I have got screwed. You know what I mean? Even in the city of Phoenix, I have networked and said, hey, man, I'm going to send you some service calls. Let me get X amount of dollars. You think I got any money? So I stopped doing it. You know what I mean? But now I have had some that I do it with, and ain't no issue. But I'm going to tell you what I had to do. I had to get my money up front. You know, I had to get paid up front and then send them the jobs. But me trusting them to pay me after I send them the services, it just didn't work like that. But it's all good. But all I wanted to say is, you know, I don't have no problem with you networking the ski. I don't have no problem with you making money, you know, or just buying it and using the scraps around your house and to build your own instead of going to a steel mill and purchasing new parts. Because, you know, the way I look at it, you know what I mean? We all have to make, to make money. So if you can get it from used parts and turn them into something new or however you want to do it to improve your hustle, I have no issue with that. But I do appreciate you for getting your hog on with me. Black Phoenix.